It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees at Netflix, and I refused. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we are speaking about. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. So you know there was people from Netflix that didn't want that motherfucker on and everything and stuff. She's one of them. Okay. That's who she is. I'm Ashley Marie Preston, and I'm the organizer for the Stand Up and Solidarity Rally. My entire career, everything that I've done has been about pushing boundaries. It has been about holding people accountable. I just cussed that Asian bitch clean the fuck out. We expect more. You mess up my order and then blame me? English is my first language, bitch. And so... I know it's a lot to ask in California, but speak fucking English. Yeah, I said it. We also pour social equity into these spaces. We just broke my phone on this Asian bitch's head. Dave Chappelle doesn't get to suck all of the light out of that. We're talking violence. Okay. <laughs> Most um, trouble by is Latino and Asian businesses need to stop being rude and fucking disrespectful. They don't have the same equity. This Asian nigga in Subway got a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> you include that that's funny yo this ain't you think you got a fat ass <laughs> oh it gets worse you're gonna crack the fuck up hold on <laughs> oh my god they don't have the same opportunity he almost looks like a bitch from behind hashtag shaking my head we will no longer stay silent asian hoes act like they won't get karate chopped and they motherfucking throw just to be clear in real life I'd smash your fucking head in like a can of A and W root beer, Dick Ryder. Yo, listen, as fucked up as it is, she's funny. She's funny as fuck. Yeah, well. those tweets are those, those, that's a fire tweet. That's but <laughs> this, 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 <laughs> this Asian bitch <laughs> got a fat ass. You know, you know <laughs> she's an Asian nigga, so it's a male, which makes it funnier. <laughs> this Asian nigga looks like Asian folks are evolving. They're abandoning the samurai booty, and some of them getting the button jacks and getting yeah. the BBLs. Good for him. <laughs> Got a fat ass. Bro, I would beat the dog shit out of you. Dick Ryder. To understand intersectionality and what it means. I have Asian friends, but they some motherfucking weirdo sometimes. Hashtag, I said it, but we all think it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. We talking about violence. Let's Man, I go. I got some Asian friends, but they some motherfucking weirdo. <laughs> sometimes. And you know it. I know it. We all know it. I just said it because y'all thinking. All right, Ling Ling. Calm down. Obviously, uh, Ashley Marie Preston is a, a great advocate. Furry slipper wearing ass fuck boy. Keep pretending for the internet. Dick Ryder. Ashley Marie Preston has proven herself as an activist. Good Lord. I don't know what's going on there with Bubba. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Let me say this about Homegirl. You know what? If she abandoned all this, like, new age sympathy, empathy, bullshit, long ago, she go back to being a funny motherfucker. Because them tweets, even if a lot of them are right, they're so funny. That's it's, some it's funny a, shit. It's a delivery hey, that's funny. Hey, you furry ass fuck. <laughs> it's, it's a delivery that's fucked up. Oh, man. I, I think it's all great. That I'm motherfucker got a mouth on that's it. But we talk funny. about violence, right? Well, I mean, listen, li listen. I don't know how literal she was or how much that happened. Also, a good majority of those tweets are from over uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. So I don't really care that. Yeah. Deeply. And a loved one to many people and her embarkment on activism. So thank you so much. These motherfuckers. Fuck suckers. Fat Mexican piss blonde Miss Piggy looking bitch. The delivery of that is amazing. Hey, listen, you know, some people are racist. And some people are funny racist. Yes. You know. We, we I mean, the first time I heard Dune Coon, I laughed. Dune, you said Dune Coon? Yeah, he was talking to this Arab guy. I thought that was funny. It's like, listen, racism is racism. Yeah. But if it's sprinkled in with some creativity, I can at least appreciate the artistry. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Yeah, like, I, I understand. Yeah, I understand yeah, y'all like, clear. Yeah, if you're going to hate, do it with some style, some panache. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some pizzazz. Exactly. Put some oomph in it. Yeah, that's all, that's all I'm appreciating. I love strippers. Not in like a gay way. 
I love gay men, but this county clerk at Window G is a motherfucking. Thank you so much for the invitation. That is the last time I helped that fucker. So for those of us who are standing in solidarity with the trans employees. Another. Damn. Asian almost hit me while crossing. What the fuck is with y'all and damn vehicles? Hashtag racist ass. I don't do Mexican, Asian, or Samoan. We need to have difficult and complex conversations. You should be ashamed if you take abortion pills like Flintstone vitamins. That's funny. That's that. It's just, it was just funny. Yeah. It's, I'm not even trying to fucking expose a motherfucker like these people are doing. Yeah. Like, uh, look, I can't. It's just, it was funny. Yeah. The but, whole thing is funny. But, you know, that's the interesting thing about folks who act sanctimonious is you come to look through their closet and recognize they, they engage in a lot of the behaviors that they condemn. Mm -hmm. Or they engage in a lot of the bigotry that they call out other people for. You know, you can't really say that this person's comments weren't far more homophobic than Dave's comments could ever be perceived as transphobic. It's mm -hmm. not even close. No. Right? What she said is clearly far worse. And yet here she is holding a rally trying to lynch another man. Right? Metaphorically speaking. Not literally, obviously. But... So, there's that part that's interesting. Now, the comic in me looks at this and laughs because I think it's creatively done and it's funny. It's not tacky. Right? That's me, though. That's me. You yeah. can look at it and be as outraged as you want and you're completely justified. Like I said... First time I heard a white dude say Dune Coon, I couldn't stop laughing. I think the whole day I kept picturing desert and I kept picturing black guys, <laughs> brown people. <laughs> I just want, I couldn't stop laughing. But again, it's right. Yes, that. But, but watching w this woman, that's what I get the vibe of. A lot of people love to reinvent themselves and then persecute the very thing that they used to be. Right, a lot of people get older and then look at young people who are unwise and be like, "You fucking idiots!" Like, bitch, that was you when you were 18 too, right? So I just think that's the part that's really distasteful. Uh, most of her tweets seem to be from 2010, 2011. 11, yeah. One of them was like 2018. So, how do I feel about it? Not that strongly. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. But that's what I thought was. It's the fun. Yeah, same thing as well. It's just you know you're gonna go out and just look at look at you. Yeah. And you point the motherfucker out. You got three fingers pointing at you. Yeah. That's why I point like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You appreciate it, so I'm, uh, I like that you... <laughs> this, this Asian nigga got a fat ass. That's funny. I don't know what it is. From behind, he looked like yeah, a bitch, bitch with it. That's funny. I'm Shake so my hand. Maybe that's, I, just, I, I just laughed. But again, I got to... <laughs> yeah, that's funny. The delivery is funny. I like gay people, but this nigga's a f*** <laughs> with it. <laughs> it's, like, it's just the whole sentence is fucked up. You know what it's like? You ever, you ever have like an uncle say something? Just yeah. So outrageous. Just, you, just, got, you gotta laugh. Just, you gotta laugh. Like, that my God, you can't say that. I sure damn well did. And you know what? And you know what? Let me tell you something. And then they unleash it. Yeah, that's yeah. just funny. But that's me. Everyone, everyone handles things differently, so you handle it that way. But those are my thoughts on this. Anything else you want to say? No. All right. Okay. Funny things.